seems like the last nine, ten games you've really stepped it up. Is there anything in particular your staff is doing uh, exceptionally well that's, that's leading to this? Yeah, I mean, getting after guys, pitching inside, working all parts of the zone, ability to land the breaking ball um, on any count. You know, if sometimes you use it to get ahead, sometimes you use it to finish guys. So I think I, I've seen a lot of guys doing a good job going to execution as opposed to effort. Um, and a big change is, you know, filling up the strikes on using our defense. You guys know how, how good our defense plays. You saw that from Boyd going after and getting the ball off the wall and getting it in. So you trust that they're going to run stuff down like Meckler did and left. Um, and also how our infield does things the other day, you know, turning four double plays. They see that when guys are playing big defense, um, it gives them a ton of confidence to attack the hitters. And, you know, they haven't, They've been filling it up, eliminating free bases, uh, controlling the run game. Really, they're doing a lot of things really well, um, and it just kind of spreads one guy to the next guy. They have a, a great mentality. And I think a lot of that comes from the start. Just like you know, Jaron Hunter came out, um, pitched against him last week, did a great job, then followed it up with another great performance, um, in and out, and just uh, really got got the next guy the ball in a really good spot. Townsend did a great job. Verberg worked out of a big jam. Uh, and then Brownie uh, doing what he's been doing, continuing to get better. And I liked that each guy, right when they came in, they were ready to execute pitches. I was going to ask, Hunter, have you felt like he's maybe elevated his game a little bit the last couple games? I mean, I, he's, he's, he's had a handful of, of good outings. Um, you know, I only could think of one where he just looked a little um, outside of himself. But he's been sinking the ball down in the zone, uh, landing his slider, and using his changeup to both righties and lefties. Um, and he's, you know, he's he's getting that um, that vibe from a lot of guys that hey, this guy this guy pitches in big games. You, you look at what Oregon's done this year offensively to hold them to two runs in two games. How, how difficult is that lineup that, that you're facing? Oh, no doubt they 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 got uh, a lot of talent, and you know I think. A lot goes into um, when you're when you're facing a, a really good club, uh, executing, confidence, preparation, all those things come into play. And uh, from how I'm watching our guys prepare and um, how they are communicating with one another before they go out there, and even when they're out there, the confidence that each guy is given and the encouragement they're given, I just think that um, they're very well prepared, and that goes from. Coach Dorman and Coach Postal wait uh, on, on the pitching side, and Coach Barney and Coach Gibson uh, and Masqueran is taking care of the defense. They work the guys extremely hard, and it builds a lot of confidence. So when they go out there, they look like they're ready to compete. Were you uh, beginning to wonder if that run that didn't score in the second inning was going to turn out to be something kind of big? Or uh, you know, I, I don't want to dwell on it because then we're going to miss the next pitch, and you know. You, you, what happened happened, and we sit there. We'll we'll talk about it when the time's right. Um, understanding where the outfielders are and the situation, and who's running in front of you, and uh, where they're probably going to try to go with it. Um, they made the right play on that one, trying to get the guy at third base. Um, you know, I can't have both eyes on both spots, so I don't know. But you know, the umpire's in a good position to make that call. So either way, I don't think we should put ourselves in that position to miss it. But I wouldn't. I don't want to dwell on it and. Yeah put us in a in a tough spot there's a lot of things that happen through a game it's hard to say that one play would be the the big no i just wonder as you get to the sixth seventh inning and it's still scoreless you're going to no i just had that one. make make a note of it and then discuss it in practice you know maybe make 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 sure it's something that we work on so you know darwin does a great job over at first base communicating with the guys on different situations uh, sometimes mistakes are made and you know the big thing is not letting it happen again how important how important was it the home run Boy, just to give you that extra, you know, just I mean, did it feel like did it feel like kind of a, a little bit of relief there, just to give you an extra run there? Or? Every time you get an extra run, it, it's, it always feels good. But I, I'll say this, maybe even more so than the run, the energy that was created when he's rounding the bases, coming in the dugout, and how it, if anyone was feeling any lull of energy at that moment <laughs> I don't think anyone was but when he came in the dugout it fired everyone up to see the look on his face 
um, and to watch everyone embrace him. Uh, there wasn't, I, I think our bullpen all felt it too. And there was some jump around time, but um, you know, I, I thought our guys did a great job competing even when they were behind in the count. And they were attacking, attacking us and you know, getting ahead. So they held us to only a couple of hits. So tight ball games, those are important ones to, to play and those are really big ones to win. As you get closer to the postseason now, just a couple of weeks away, it's got to be pretty nice to see your fourth starter go out there and, and hold Oregon scoreless two weeks in a row, right? I mean, that's that's a role that becomes really important in the postseason. It does. You're going to be playing, um, you know, when you get into the, the pack tournament and, um, you know, regionals. You know, you're going to have a, a couple more ball clubs in there. You might have to play some more games. Hopefully, you know, you're playing the minimum. Um, uh, to, to move on to the next round, but really to have that kind of depth for Jaron to go out there and pitch in those kind of big games. I remember back when uh, you know we were playing and Daniel Turpin came in and he shut down Rice, and there's there's always those guys that step up in those big roles. And it's great to see um, you know Jaron take the ball and um, prepare all week for it, right? And, and same thing with Brock. Townsend hasn't thrown. Uh, in a while now, and for him to come out and attack the bottom of the zone and mix pitches and get outs, and um, those are those are big moments. So even the guys that haven't necessarily got a lot of playing time in the game, I, I do believe that they're preparing for that opportunity. You never know what's going to be, just like we saw last year with uh, Boyd and Donetti and Fuchs jumping in there and playing a lot in the in the last week of the season, and then in the regionals. So we learned from a lot of those things, and I think it's spreading and. It's becoming an important habit. Okay. Thank you. Cool. Very great. Thank you.